Companies around the globe continue to deal with workforce shortages, and now a pilot program launching in the United Kingdom has some asking, could a shorter work week help solve the labor crisis? Fox 43's Alyssa Kratz explains. Working four days instead of five. For many people, it sounds like a dream. And while it's not a new idea, pandemic-induced labor problems have it gaining traction. I think it's just a recognition of how desperate uh, the workforce shortage is and what companies need to do to try to attract workers. A pilot program launching this summer in the UK, receiving recent buzz. 30 companies will participate, chopping employee hours to four days and 32 hours a week without slashing pay. It's going to attract people because it's a substantial right, hourly increase in compensation. But also I think, you know, most workers have found that it really improves their work-life balance. Chair of Millersville University's economics department, Dr. Kenneth Smith, says some labor unions have been pushing for a shorter work week for years, but now businesses are getting on board too. And employers are starting to, you know, to see this as more feasible and as they do struggle with bringing in workers and they do struggle with re retaining workers. Lancaster County is just one of those struggling employers, but commissioners say while it may be possible to give some staff more flexibility, a four day work week isn't feasible for everyone. We do a lot of different things. You know, we have 24 hour facility uh, like 911 facility or the prison um, where that's just not possible. That may also be true for industries like hospitality and retail, according to the president of the Lancaster Chamber of Commerce. He's not it's sure a shorter a... work week will become reality for all, but says in today's labor market, it's definitely the workers in charge. They are pushing back a bit on companies. They're asking for additional, certainly additional pay in many instances, but also other benefits. And it's just a matter of how a company navigates those waters to make sure that they can retain and recruit the limited workforce that's out there right now. Alyssa Kratz, Fox 43 News.